top 10 coolest writing systems. Now, I should note what I mean by coolest writing systems. By coolest, I mean scripts that I think look neat and are actually usable without too much effort. Number 10 is the Gothic alphabet. Do you like Eastern Europe? Do you like the Germans? Well, then the Goths are perfect for you. The Gothic alphabet was largely based off of the Greek alphabet, as it was originally used to write the Bible. The creator of the script, Wulfila, didn't want to use runes as they were seen as pagan and also wanted to help integrate the Goths into the Greco-Roman culture. The Gothic alphabet includes a few really cool characters like Huer for the sound Hua and our old buddy Thorn. The Gothic alphabet has a very nice aesthetic and I wish it was still used today in some form or another. For these reasons, Gothic gets number 10 on our list. Number 9 on this list is Katakana. I will admit, as someone who is studying Japanese, I am very biased because katakana is significantly simpler than hiragana and kanji. Katakana also looks significantly less like spaghetti than hiragana. But my main two reasons for liking katakana so much to put it at number 9 on this list are that it is used to write Ainu and that it can be used to write my name. Number 8 is the Anglo-Frisian runes, also known as Futhork. Futhork is really cool because it invites a nostalgia to the days when English was a good language. I'm sure many of you wish we could go back to Old English, or of course a developed form like Frisian is today. Futhork runes were also much more accurate to English pronunciation than the Latin alphabet spelling has become. Most of the letters from the English Latin alphabet that were eventually dropped came from the runes originally, which is kind of sad because the runes are awesome. They get number 8 on this list. Number 7 is the Brahmi script. The Brahmi script, formerly called the stick figure script, is the ancestor of many of the scripts of South Asia and Southeast Asia, as well as our numerals today. Now, this is a subjective marker, but I think it looks really cool, and it deserves to get number 7 on this list, especially because there's nothing else on India in this video. Number 6 on this list is Armenian. Armenian looks super awesome. It's got a loopy vibe, it's got some cool characters, and it also has a hilarious amount of glyphs that look like Latin glyphs, and are pronounced completely differently. Take these for example. This is the character for G, this is E, and this is E, this is O, this is Ma, these are Sa, Ta, and So, and this is U. Since we're halfway through this video, I think it's appropriate that I relay my gratitude to my Patreon supporters, with special thanks to Kiranik, Albert Jones, Agmashwa, Obviscobble, Pirate, Benny, Eden, and Acorn. If you enjoy my videos and would like to help out the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon or subscribing if you haven't already. Let's move on to number 5. Number 5 is the Ancient South Arabian Script. It's kind of like how runes got replaced by the Latin alphabet, except the Ancient South Arabian Script got replaced by the Arabic Script. The Ancient South Arabian Script did, however, survive in Ethiopia, where it eventually became the Gez Abu Gida, which was used to write various Nilo-Saharan and Afroasiatic languages. The Ancient South Arabian script gets number 5 on this list because I don't want to be seen as ethnocentric. It also does look pretty cool. Number 4 on this list goes to the Canadian syllabic systems. On top of having the cutest glyphs ever, like seriously look at this, and the fact that rotation of the glyph changes the sound, which is super cool, the Canadian syllabic glyphs were originally based off of Devangari, which is a daughter script of Brahmi, which we talked about earlier in this video, which I think is awesome. The Canadian syllabary can be modified with baby letters and diacritics so that it's compatible with pretty much every single native Canadian language. Also, as I mentioned earlier, it looks awesome. Number three on this list is also in an indigenous script of North America, Cherokee. So you know how Armenian was a mess when it came to characters looking like Latin alphabet characters? Yeah, Cherokee is even worse. Cherokee is a syllabary invented by Sequoia, and he based it off of not only the Latin alphabet, but also Greek, Cyrillic, and Glagolitic. They are not used to represent the same sounds at all. For instance, here's a letter A, E, E, U, O, G, Go, Gu, Go, He, Hu, La, Lo, Lu, Me, Mi, Mu, Na. Ni, no, que, se, si, son, ta, di, do, du, tle, tli, tlon, tso, won, ye, you, yon. Now, as you can see, Sequoia basically didn't do the assignment and just copied his classmates' work, 
which I find really funny, so I'm giving Cherokee number three on this list. Number two is Oem. Oem is awesome primarily because it was written on the sides of rocks, bottom to up, left to right. It was used to write primitive and old Irish so that non-Irish and non-Oem readers wouldn't be able to understand what the Irish were writing. It also has hands down some of the coolest looking glyphs I've ever seen. Truthfully, they just look like tally marks, but I still think they look amazing and therefore Oem gets number two on this list. Here are some honorable mentions before we get to the coolest writing system. Maya, Hangul, Mongolian, and Sinhala. Now, the number one coolest writing script in the world, used in Japan until the early 20th century, is a term for the hundreds of variant forms of hiragana used together, known as hentai-gana. <laughs> 